This is Raymond Mayfield, and it's great to be with you today. Thank you for listening to these videos today. I appreciate it very much. And I want to talk to you today about a discouraged prophet. A most unlikely person probably be talking about as being a discouraged prophet. The account is found in Matthew 11, verses 1 through 15, and it speaks about John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a great prophet. Jesus said he was the greatest prophet that was ever born among women. But he was in prison in the gloomy fortress of Machaerus, which there had been there maybe for a year or so. John had been invited to Herod's palace to speak to the people. Uh, it seemed like that uh, Herod was fascinated with him. And John lived out in the wilderness, and he must have been really out of place going to the palace and speaking to all these people who were probably dressed up really nice, and he probably was a sight to behold, and I can just imagine the scene uh, when he began to speak to the people. And he called out Herod because of his immoral relationship with Herod, his brother's sister, and because of that incident, it got him thrown into a terrible prison. The palace was above the prism, and uh, it was on a big top of a big rock, and it was kind of slanted way down, and the dungeons of the prison were down in the middle of that uh, sliding rock, which there was no way of escape, and it was a very terrible place to live at. John the Baptist, because he spoke out for Jesus Christ and spoke out for what was right and what was wrong. Uh, evidently called out him, and because of that, he had some great difficulty. In Matthew 11 and 3, it says, and, and John had disciples, and he asked his disciples to ask Jesus, is he the one to come, or do we look for another? He had baptized Jesus in the river of Jordan. He had witnessed a dove descending on Jesus uh, as symbolic of the great Holy Spirit. He has said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Why did he have doubt at this time? Many people probably have a lot of doubt all the time, but we have to have faith in God. He probably was not the man he used to be, being in prison for such a time. Being in prison had probably taken its toll upon him. It was a degrading situation. He had no running water and probably no public bathrooms there whatsoever, probably rats running around everywhere. He had been used to much activity on the outside, but he's confined in horrible living conditions, and it tames such a spirit of such a strong man. But the Lord does answer his question. He said, tell, go tell John that the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the message preached to them. This must have made the great prophet John happy to hear the news back from John. And, and Jesus also, blessed is a man who is not offended in the things that I do. And Jesus called John the Baptist the greatest prophet that ever preached among women in verse number 11. And we all have discouraging times, and you may be going through a discouraging time right now. John was only human. Jesus Christ was the Son of God. He was a forerunner, but he had to give away to Jesus Christ. Staying close to God will help you in times of discouraging and melancholy. A little later on, John is beheaded by Herod, and, he, and uh, it's a terrible thing to have to go through to be beheaded. And then a little bit later on, our wonderful Lord Jesus Christ had to die on the cross of Calvary. So if you're having discouraging time, just remember Jesus will go with you. If you look to him, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. This is Raymond Mayfield. I'll talk to you again real soon.